Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. So this channel, Everyday Data Science, is all about trying to learn the different concepts involved in data science by practicing a lot of questions. In this video, I'm going to solve this question on status crash regarding popularity of hack, both using Python as well as MySQL, and try to walk you through how we can develop solutions to such problems. The difficulty level of this question is easy, and this question has been asked in meta or Facebook interviews. So let's jump right in. The question reads, Meta or Facebook has developed a new programming language called Hack. To measure the popularity of Hack, they ran a survey with their employees. The survey included data on previous programming familiarity as well as the number of years of experience, age, gender, and most importantly, satisfaction with Hack. Due to an error, location data was not collected, but your supervisor demands a report showing average popularity of Hack by office location. Luckily, the user IDs of the employees completing the surveys were stored Based on the above, find the average popularity of the hack per office location, output the location along with the average popularity. Okay, so basically we are given two data frames called Facebook employees and Facebook hack survey and the expected output looks something like this, right? So you have the location and the average popularity. Okay, so let's preview the data frames that we have. So Facebook employees has ID location, age, gender, is senior or not. And Facebook hack survey has information regarding write the employee id age gender and popularity right so since we need for every location what is the average popularity of this la new language hack right so here we have the employee ids right their ages gender and popularity but we don't have the location however in this first data frame right facebook employees if i preview this so you have the employee ID and their location as well. So obviously, since the information is in two different data frames, the first thing that we should do is we should merge this information, right? So what should we do is we can start and use pandas.merge method, right? Pandas.merge and then provide the first data frame, right? So Facebook hack survey, right? So, so Facebook hack survey and then let's merge this with facebook employees right so that you know we have the location as well as the popularity at one place right and since the name of the columns that we are merging are different in both of these right so in the facebook employee it's going to be id and the facebook hack survey is going to be employee id and since this is on the left side so we need to write left on right so left on is equal to employee id and write on is equal to id right so once you have this and then how do we want to join we want to join using a left join right so we left right let's see what happens right if i run this okay so if you look at it we have the different employee ids ages gender popularity and location all at one place now right now what we need is for every location what is the average popularity right so what we can do is we can group by this location and calculate the mean of the popularity column right so if i write dot group by right the location column right and then from the popularity column right popularity column let's calculate the mean right and since we grouped by location but we want that as a column right so we need to write reset index right so we write reset index now let me run this okay so if you look at it our output is exactly same as the output that is expected right so let me go ahead and submit it to see if it passes all the test cases so yeah if you look at it everything is green and this is how we do it in python now let's switch to mysql and see how the corresponding solution looks like in mysql again same question right uh, everything is same expected output same just the alias of the uh, column popularity is now average popularity so yeah, in this case also what we need to do is from this table called facebook hack survey right let's alias this as uh, hs right let's left to join the table facebook employees right facebook employees alias as e on hs dot employee id right is equal to e dot id right so let me run this let's see what we get so we have all the columns from facebook hack survey as well as the facebook employee table 
right now here if you look at one thing right so it is possible that since you know in the facebook employees since we are you know doing a left join a facebook hack survey with facebook employees it is possible that in some of the surveys there are some employees who are not in the table called facebook employees right so obviously if it is not going to find a match it is going to return null values right but in the expected out of if you look at it like there is nothing like location you know called null right so you need to exclude those rows why because what let me you know just do the same thing and don't exclude the null one right so from this what we need to do is group by the location column right so location is basically is going to be in the employees table right so e dot location right and return e dot location and calculate the average of the popularity column right which is in hack survey right so h is dot popularity and let's alias this as average popularity right and let me run this okay so this is the output that we get but here if you see there is a null location with the average popularity and again this is because when we are joining it is possible that some of the employee ids in the Facebook hack survey is not present in Facebook employees, right? The data is not just there, right? So it is not going to return anything. It is going to return null basically, right? And if you group by that, so obviously you are going to get that. But in the output, you don't need that, right? So what we can do is after performing a join, right? We can, you know, exclude those rows. So we can write where e dot location or you can take any column from the Facebook employees because after performing a join, all those columns are going to be null if there is a no match. But like, let's take e dot location is not null, right? So now if I run this, so we have the output same as the expected output, right? Let me go ahead and submit it to see if it passes all the test cases. So yeah, everything is green and this is how we do it. Again, very simple question. All we had to do was since the information about the popularity and the location are in two different tables, right? So we firstly joined them and then made sure that there is no null location in case of when we were doing this with MySQL, you can do that in Python as well. And once we had that, then we grouped by the location and calculated the average popularity, right? So yeah, this is how we do it. Let me know if there is a better way or a more efficient way you can think of to solve this question. Let the solution be in the comment section below. And until then, I will see you guys in the next video.